Hello brothers and sisters, I hope you're all doing great in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now I'm glad uh, because based on some of the videos I made in the past concerning people, I was trying to caution people to seek repentance and also to find salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. Now some few days ago I've received emails about some people that claim that they've been inspired by these messages and they want to find ways and means on how to seek salvation and also come out of their sins. Some of them claim that they are struggling with some kind of things that is making them difficult to come out of it. And this is obviously some form of addiction. So, you know, these people that sent me email are, you know, seeking for counsel and then more enlightenment on how to seek repentance and come out of their sins and also seek salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. And this makes me glad because I feel like I'm somehow helping the work of God if my messages are touching lives and then people are being inspired by these messages so that it will help them come out of their sins. Okay. So I'm really glad to, you know, receive certain messages like that from people who are willing to come out of their sins. Now, I want to also thank you, the viewers and, you know, subscribers. You know you liking and sharing these videos out there you might not know but then it is reaching out to a lot of people that are in bondage of sin and they cannot even come out so once we spread the message of the gospel to uh, people out there and you share this video even you liking this video will help it reach out to a lot of people and i believe that this work that both you and i are doing is going to help bring a whole lot of people to our lord jesus christ now today i'm going to share a very sensitive message with you and i want to call out all christians and believers to come and listen to this message you know this is not for us to judge okay you know based on this sister's message she gave a notice that she doesn't clearly understand what was shown to her and this is why she's bringing it out to us for us to listen so that we believers can give an interpretation even though she's still waiting on the lord for the lord to give her discernment but we, you know what we do on this channel already it is our right and responsibility to seek discernment from the lord on any message we come across i have read her message and to me sincerely i just don't know what to say about it so I just want you to also listen. I'm going to leave this to you to listen to her message and then also come out with an interpretation to this sister's message so that this can clear her doubts and then she can also be free. This has to do with Michael Jackson. And then, you know, in the past, even on this channel, I have shared near-death experiences on this channel that people have been to hell to see Michael Jackson in hell. But this story I'm about to share with you is quite different from what people have seen about Michael Jackson. It's quite strange. And, you know, we know that physically we witnessed that uh, Michael Jackson had died and you know we witnessed the funeral service and everything that has been so many years ago okay but based on what is coming out now i just want us to try to figure out through the holy spirit to know the truth from the deceit okay however if this turns out to be true then i strongly believe that god is giving him another chance for him to come out of his sins and seek salvation okay so i'm just going to go straight forward to read what was sent to me no part has been taken out of this message and nothing has been added to it if you are not cool with my accent and you do not really understand how i speak and read out that is why there's a subtitle of uh, whatever that I'm going to read. It is going to translate it into English for you to read and understand. So just pay close attention as I proceed with the reading. If Hello, Joseph. My name is Maya Thompson. I want to share something with you and your followers. I received a vision 2nd of April this year. It came at one of the critical times of my life. I believe it's for a reason. He does things in his own time. I'm talking about Jesus. Please, I am not a seer or a prophetess. So I will humbly ask that you pray to the Lord about my message and also test the spirit like the Bible always say. Before this vision, I had been battling weakness in my body for over five days. 
a state that left me feeling drained and alarmed. Symptoms of health failure began to manifest. Persistent fatigue, shortness of breath, and a heavy feeling in my chest. Concerned about my well-being, I decided to visit the hospital. After a series of tests, I was diagnosed with a heart failure issue. The doctor explained that my heart wasn't pumping blood as efficiently as it should, leading to the severe symptoms I had been experiencing. Admitting for a proper treatment, I settled into the hospital routine, hoping for a recovery. Each day was a struggle, but I trusted the medical team and the treatment plan. One night, around 8 p.m., as I lay in my hospital bed, I suddenly felt a sharp and excruciating pain. Confused and frightened, I tried to understand what was happening to me. And during my struggle, a brilliant flood of light changed my vision, making it impossible to see anything else. I tried to fight against the high brightness of light around me, but soon realized that I was no longer in the hospital room. I had entered a different realm, one that felt both different and divine. For a long time, I had yearned for the ability to see visions, a gift I had prayed for earnestly in my service to God. It seemed that now in this moment of physical vulnerability, God had chosen to grant me this gift, allowing me to witness a vision at a time, a season when I needed it most. Please tell your viewers not to judge me. Like I said, this is my first time having a vision from the Lord. I do not fully understand the meaning of what I saw about Michael Jackson. Many have seen him in hell in the past, but based on what I saw, whether I am right or wrong, I strongly believe that Jesus Christ is calling out to him to seek repentance and seek salvation wherever he is. I might be wrong about my vision, thinking that he is alive, but I will plead with you to listen and give me an interpretation. Now, this is what I saw. I found myself wandering through a dense forest, unsure how I had arrived there. As I ventured deeper, I noticed something peculiar about the trees around me. Each tree seemed to have its unique shape, some twisted and bent, while others stood tall and straight. I wasn't so sure of myself. But from a distance, I could see that every tree bore a unique writing on its trunk, labeled deeply into the back. As I walked closer, I noticed that some trees were dead, their branches were bare, and the trunks were cranked and dried, showing clear evidence of lifelessness. Again, some trees were very much alive. These trees looked so beautiful with green leaves that blossomed vibrantly. The living trees were a sight to behold, their branches full and flourishing, creating a canopy above. What struck me most was that all these trees, regardless of their state, whether dead or alive, were of the same height. As I continued walking through the forest, my attention was drawn to a tree that stood out. It's just so different from a far distance. It has the same height as others. However, what made this tree unique was its condition. The trunk was visibly dead, with the bark peeling off in large racked strips, revealing dry cracked wood beneath. The lifelessness extended up into the branches. It looked as though they had long since withered. Despite this apparent death, the tree's leaves were a sight to behold. 
they were astonishingly beautiful. Among the leaves, beautiful flowers bloomed. Their colors so good looking. As I got closer to the tree, my eyes were focused on the trunk where I noticed something remarkable. Inscribed deeply into the back of the tree was the name Michael Jackson, boldly written for all to see. At that moment, I was in a wave of shock and confusion. It suddenly dawned on me that every tree in this forest, just like I saw in a distance at first, whether dead or alive, bore a name inscribed on its trunk. I scanned the surrounding trees, each with its distinct shape and condition, and indeed, each one had a name caved into its back. The names varied, but none stood out as much as the one before me, the inscription of Michael Jackson. My mind was filled with questions. How could this be? What was the meaning behind these names? The tree of Michael Jackson's name was unlike any other I had encountered in the forest. While I couldn't be sure if any tree shared the same extraordinary qualities somewhere in the vast expanse, I hadn't seen anything like it during my long walk through the forest as far as my eyes could capture. As I stood there wondering, a clear voice rang out in my mind. It was as unmistakable as hearing my own voice talking back at me. The voice called out my name. The voice spoke with an authority that brooked no doubt. The voice said, Every tree represents human lives on earth. The trees that are dead are men and women who have passed on, while those still glowing are those alive. The clarity of this revelation left me stunned. I understand now the significance of the forest and its trees. The dead and lifeless trees symbolize those who had departed this world while the vibrant blossoming trees represented the living. However, this understanding only deepened the mystery of the tree before me. What did it mean for a tree to be both dead and alive, especially the one bearing the name of Michael Jackson? The inner voice provided no further explanation, leaving me battling with unanswered questions. Why was this tree different? What was the significance of its dual nature? And what did it imply about Michael Jackson? The lack of clarity on this matter left me in a state of confusion and contemplation. As I kept wondering in my mind, I suddenly found myself back in reality. I remember the doctor had told me I might be discharged the next day. I was just expectant to leave the hospital. Even after my recovery and discharge from the hospital, the vision of the forest and the peculiar tree with Michael Jackson's name written on its back remained vivid in my mind. For over a week, I pounded deeply over what I had seen. The voice that had explained the significance of the other dead trees, representing those who had passed on to glory, and the glowing ones representing the living had been crystal clear, but it had left me with no guidance on the meaning of the unique tree bearing Michael Jackson's name. I knew better than to fabricate a story or jump into conclusions. It was critical to seek clarity from the Lord, just as I had received the initial revelation. On the eleventh day following my encounter, as I was browsing through Facebook, I stumbled upon a video that caught my attention. The video offered a detailed explanation concerning Michael Jackson, presenting what seemed to be sufficient proof and factual claims that he was still alive. The creator of the video aimed to debunk the long-held belief that Michael Jackson had died years ago, providing evidence and arguments to support their case. As I watched the video, my mind flashed back to the vision I had in the forest. The big tree, simultaneously dead and alive, 
now seemed to have a connection to the ongoing debate about Michael Jackson's fate. The tree's dual nature could symbolize the controversy and ambiguity surrounding his life and death. Despite the compelling connection, I was cautious not to fully accept any interpretation that the Lord hadn't explicitly revealed to me. The vision had given me a hint, but I awaited further guidance. Just as the voice had clearly explained the meaning of the other trees, I trusted that in his own time, the Lord would reveal the true meaning behind the vision of the tree with Michael Jackson's name. Until then, I remained patient, seeking divine clarity and understanding. Deciding to share my experience, I hope to gain insight from others who might possess the gift of interpreting dreams and visions. The encounter in the forest with its profound symbolism and unanswered questions weighed heavily on my mind. I felt compelled to reach out and seek understanding, believing that perhaps someone out there could shed light on the mystery that eluded me. You can choose to rebuke me for sharing this with you, but I had to because I couldn't keep it to myself. And if it happens to be true that Michael Jackson is still alive, then I strongly believe that God has given him a chance to repent and seek salvation and be born again. I pray this message will reach out to him wherever he is. I will be in the comment section to hear and read what those who can interpret dreams say concerning what I just shared. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So I believe you heard everything that was stated in this message of our sister. You know, we've been hearing a lot of stories these days and most especially there have been so many messages of people going to hell, finding Michael Jackson there. And you know, these stories, sometimes we need to be very careful about such stories because we definitely have to take it to the Lord because it is only the Lord through the Holy Spirit that can give us a true discernment of such messages. The only reason which I think these messages are positive is that it actually has the same priority of cautioning people to seek repentance and then find salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. However, the truth of the message will still remain unknown until we pray to God for him to give us a confirmation of it. If you listen to whatever that this sister has said, um, I feel that we just need to go into prayer with the Lord to seek confirmation from him and to know if this is really true. You know, the sister wasn't so sure of what she had seen in her vision, whether Michael Jackson is alive or whether he is not alive. I personally haven't seen any video proving that Michael Jackson is alive. She claims she saw a video on Facebook. I don't know if you have come across any video like that. But however, the most important thing about this message is that um, even if it is not Michael Jackson, whoever that is watching this video today, the most important thing we need to do is to seek repentance and then also seek salvation in our Lord Jesus Christ. Because at the end of everything, we should know that Jesus Christ is coming soon and Jesus Christ is coming back for his children. If you are not part of the children of God, you will still remain. You will be casted into hell. And hell is somewhere that I always say I wouldn't even wish that place for my enemy. Okay, so uh, we all know how terrible that place is. So if you do not want to end up in hell, then come out of everything that you're doing that goes against the will of our God. All right, so thank you very much and God bless you for joining me. If you have any interpretation, just feel free to drop it in the comment section. And also make sure you share this video with your friends and family so that they may also receive the message of the Lord. God bless you.